All right, this is our last video in the four out, one in motion offense breakdown. Okay, this is the last option that we can do with the basketball or without the basketball here. Okay, this progression is going to be called a dribble at progression. Again, if you have not watched the video on the basics of the four out, one in offense or the first five progressions, I really suggest you do those before taking a look at this video. All right, so the dribble at action can be used when the Defense is putting a lot of denial pressure on us, okay? Basically, what, what's going to happen here is the person with the ball is going to dribble at one of the other players on the perimeter, one of the players that are next to him on the perimeter. When that happens, we can do one of two things, depending on what the defense is doing. If the defense is going to deny that dribble at handoff, then the person who's being dribbled towards should automatically back cut toward the basket. Okay? If they're not going to deny it and they're going to back off a bit, which is usually what would happen, then we just have a dribble handoff and we can switch spots, maybe to getting a different defender on the perimeter that maybe isn't putting as much pressure on us. Okay? So this is also a really easy way if we're trying to get the ball to a specific spot, this is a really easy way to do that. If we want the ball to start back at the top of the key, we can run a dribble handoff to get, get the ball there, okay? Uh, if we're running a dribble handoff, the two players that are not involved in this should stay in their spots, okay? Unless, of course, there is a spot where we do get a back cut and we hit the pass going towards the basket, then obviously you want to get open for another pass around the perimeter. Okay, so just a couple quick options here on how this might look. Let's say we want to go um, a slot to wing dribble at. So one is going to dribble at four, right, right at him. Going to dribble right at him. Okay, and four is going to read this defender. If he's going to try to step up and intercept this, then four should back cut immediately towards the basket. Okay, if we can hit that back cut, then we'll have a two on one down low, and she'll get an easy basket. However, what's most likely is going to happen is that the that defender is not going to overplay that handoff. He might back off a step. And we can simply hand the ball off from one to four. And four then could come back to the slot and one could fill the spot in the wing. So this is an easy way to switch places with the guy if you have the ball and you want someone maybe is a better ball handler at the top of the key. This is an easy way to do that. Okay. The same thing can be done in the other way as well. So let's say we have one here and he's going to dribble this way, actually, you know, let's go to the other side here so we can see this on the other side. So we'll switch five over down low here. Now we have the ball on the wing. All right, two can dribble at three, and three's going to read his defender. If he steps up to, to stop that, three should immediately backdoor cut so we can try to get a two on one down low. Okay, but most, most likely going to happen is that the defender's not going to come too much on a two because his defender should be in front of him. So then three can just take the ball and he can dribble over to the wing, switching places with two. And two can kind of read that defender as well. If they both overplay it, then maybe two can do a back cut after handing the ball off, okay? This can happen slot to wing, wing to slot, or slot to slot, okay? This can happen between any two guys on the perimeter at any time. And just remember that if your guy is overplaying you, back cut immediately, okay? And if your guy's not overplaying you, it's a simple handoff, where we could switch places on the perimeter. That'll do it for our videos on the four out one in offense. We now know everything we can do on the court when we have the ball or when we don't have the ball. Uh, but just remember, if we talked about the basics, that five here, that's the key player. At any point, you can go set an away screen. You can go set a ball screen. You can jump to the middle of the free throw line and try to get a pass. All right, you are gonna be the center of this offense. As soon as you get that ball in the middle of the floor, Everything opens up for us, okay? The other four players at the top of the perimeter, we went through all your options. Those are things we should try to stick to throughout the season. And if we continue to do these things correctly, we should get a lot of open looks, all right? Thanks again for tuning in today. If you have any questions on any of these videos, always put a question in the comments. I'll try to reach out to you and let you know my answer as soon as I can. Thanks.